Death Ray here. Today, I will teach you how to factor trinomials while A does not equal 1. I apologize ahead of time for the murmuring and quiet voice, as I recorded most of this during class. Here we go! Our example equation is 10x squared plus 7x minus 3. To do this equation properly, we need to multiply together A and C, giving us D, a new variable. We learned from my previous video that to factor trinomials properly, we need to find two variables that multiply together to get C and add together to get B. In this case, however, C is actually D. C does not exist at the moment. In order to find two numbers that add together to get B, we first need to find two numbers that multiply together to get D. In this picture, those two numbers that are unknown are marked as variable 1 and variable 2. As you can see, I've easily found six combinations of two numbers that multiply together to get negative 30. What's left to do is to take those multiplication symbols and change them into addition symbols. As you can see, the first four combinations are no good because the answers are negative 24, 24, negative 15, and 15. We need our answer to be positive 7 because the only equation that gives us positive 7 is the answer for addition and negative 30 is the answer for multiplication our two numbers are negative 3 and positive 10 the next thing to do is fairly easy you just separate the positive 7 into the positive 10 and negative 3 and making the equation as shown the order of the separated numbers does not matter as long as they are between a and c i just put the 10 first because it makes it easier when we are combining like terms. The next part's a little bit weird. I personally think of the next part as two different entities, the 10x squared plus 10x and the negative 3x minus 3. I basically just put brackets around each separate entity to make it easier to work with. Next, I take the first entity and I look for like terms on either side of the mathematic symbol. In this case, the 10 and the x are on both sides, making them like terms. I then take these like terms, separate and rearrange them so that they would work according to FOIL. If you have a little bit of trouble with FOIL, it's alright, FOIL will be explained near the end of this video. Next, I repeat these steps with the second entity, in the exact same way I did with the first. If you can, try and make it so that the formula inside the brackets is the same for both entities. After this, I put the two entities back together, forming one singular equation. As you can see in each half, the insides of the brackets are exactly the same. Therefore, we have more like terms that can be combined and separated. So combining this equation is a lot easier than before. You basically just follow what it says here. We have now reached the end of our equation, and this is your final answer. But, in case you thought you did it wrong, here's how to double check it. You use FOIL. F-O-I-L. Or, first, outer, inner, last. You simply rewrite the equations as shown in FOIL and then answer them. I've made it color coded so it's easier to understand. As you can see, the answers, 10x squared, negative 3x, 10x, and negative 3 should look a bit familiar. If you rearrange them, you're back to the equation after you separated the 7. The last step is now to recombine negative 3x and 10x back into the 7x, and voila, you've got your original question back. Well, there you go. This is how to solve trinomials where a does not equal 1. Hope you learned something. Death Ray out.